Here's Trey Wolf with the opening kick, and boom. The second preseason game is in the air. Dykes, a rookie from Richmond, brings it out five yards deep, has a seam left side, gets to the 20, 25, 30, Aaron Dykes making the most of his opportunity with a 38-yard return. Oh, to be a kick returner, you don't have to watch a lot of film. It's not a lot of game planning. You just got to know if it's middle, left, or right, but a great job. Normally, like you said, I think in the pregame. Mullins, shotgun, Austin Schlopman is the center. Takes the snap, four-man rush, pats it, throws to the right, incomplete Titans ball. Brandon Powell, the intended receiver. Now you're third and seven, gives defense an opportunity to blitz. Mullins, one of five, 18 yards, hit as he throws, chucks it well over the head of Brandon Powell. Mullins, under center. Ty Chandler has been the only tailback used so far. Jackson, up top, handoff to Chandler, swallowed by T. Air Tart. Three T. Air Tart once again thrown out on the first play of the Thursday joint practices. And Malik Willis has a tightly packed eye behind him. And he goes to Spears, who has room and leaps over a Viking. That was pretty. 15 10, 5 touchdown, Tennessee. 33 yard touchdown by Tajay Spears. In everything purple and gold to get there. Now Lewis Seam coming in late as a safety and it's going to be a four or five yard gain if he makes the play but that's the difference between you know, linebacker and safety linebacker if you miss a tackle it might be a first down but as a safety you miss a tackle it's going to be this it'll be six points on the board so you know not uh, not the best example of getting positive yards and then yards after contact as well no he hasn't broken any huge plays yet we know he has the speed to but he's able to keep his feet, and he's surprisingly agile after he gets hit. Mullins, play action, rolls right, passes right, caught first down, deep shot. Ben Sims at the 34-yard line of the Tennessee Titans, and he just hauled one in for 34. He does a great job of seeing where the coverage is. He sees the cornerback in front of him, so he just starts to drift a little bit more deeply, and great, great connection with Mullins. Great job. Andrew DePaula snaps, Ryan Wright holds. Snap spot, Joseph, 7-3 Titans. Joseph, 3-for-3 three three on field goals this preseason. He hit, he was a great tackler. He's going to be a special teams type guy, I think, and it was a great job by him on that kickoff. Willis, 2 of 8, 14 yards, had the ball stripped away from him, picked it up, got away from Troy Dye, got away from Lewis Seen. He thinks he's Houdini, but he finally was trapped for a big loss. Didn't get away from pace, though. Ben Lieber has a very special guest. Happy birthday, Kirk Cousins. Middle of the second quarter, 7-3 Titans. Mullins, 9 of 13, 120 yards, handoff Ty Chandler. He's been the only back to play for the Vikings. 33-yard try, right hash. Joseph, 3 of 3 this preseason on field goal snap spot. Joseph's right-footed kick splits the uprights. And it is to Jay Spear, 7. Third-round pick from Liberty a couple of seasons ago. Play action. Malik looking left. Now fires over the middle. Intercepted by Troy Dye. At the 41 yard line and he stopped there yeah, for Troy die he you know he's wearing gloves now so Ben Lieber is gonna be happy about that he doesn't look like a long snapper anymore <laughs> but he didn't wear gloves this is the first time I've seen him in gloves actually I noticed it earlier but a great job you know with the route up the middle and uh, we have 311 and counting to go in the first half that's been a problem this preseason untouched guy up the middle sacks Nick Mullins and meanwhile it is Caleb Murphy. We are two of seven on third down. It's third and 23, Mullins, straight drop. Nah, he's going to be sacked again, or does he throw it away? As Ryan Wright is set to punt. Short. Bad bounce. Worse Ooh. roll. Wait, might have hit Titan a Titan. touched it. A Titan touched it. And Vikings ball! Wow. And uh, it was recovered by Tay Gowan, a backup corner. Ruling on the field is that the punt did touch Tennessee number 21, recovered okay. by Minnesota. Okay. Look at Jackson, the punt returner five, being like, hey, yeah, get away, get he's away. Yelling, he's yelling fire, fire, to, fire, get, fire. to get everybody out of the way. And, you know, I don't think anybody expected that short of a punt. It was mm -hmm. rolling past or behind, actually, the yard to gain.
for the Vikings. So you know not a not what you're normally seeing out of our punting or out of our kicking game. DePaula right Joseph lead nine seven Minnesota at 11 games come down to the wire and uh, the Minnesota Vikings won each and every one of them. Greg Joseph with a high kick here comes Jackson near side to the 10 to the 15 gets loose a bit of the 25 stumbles across the 30 and Huber brings him down at the 36 yard line. The Jacksonville Jaguars are the target of which to shoot Willis shotgun chestnut up the middle Troy Reader. The former Ram with a loss of one. The veteran been in this game for a while. A guy who's having a sneaky good night tonight balls TJ Smith. Kind of how we want it within the lines of, of playing so we can make adjustments within the, the different disguises to be able to make it look like a certain thing. And the thing I, I appreciate about him the most is he knows his strengths and weaknesses and he knows one of his biggest strengths is his mind. So he's a super smart player, which it's hard to take smart players off the field. Uh oh. Chestnut 20 10 couldn't get in. I mean that was chestnut roasting over a beaten defense. Yeah, you got ourselves in a, in a little bit of trouble. Williams covering the wide receiver who came down and hit Jay Ward just in time. Second and goal from the two, 9-7 Minnesota, third quarter. Malik Willis under center. Puts a man in motion, fakes the jet, pumps, open field, tackled at the four. Lewis C with a big play. Well, Paul and, and Lewis seen needed that play, boy. I tell you, he's, he's had it, you know, gave up a touchdown on a missed tackle earlier. Nice job defensively, cover the flat route, and you got the deep, to get the deep. Rookie tight end, Wiley in motion, third and goal from the four. Willis, out of the shotgun, short drop, floats out to the right, passes to the end zone, ball goes bounding in the air, incomplete. Tennessee Titans with a kicker battle. They're trying to establish who their kicker is. They'll get an opportunity for a field goal try here. 22 yard try, right hash. Morgan Cox is the long snapper. Snap spot. And the rookie bangs it through. And the Tennessee Titans. A lot of fumbles though, and that's the one thing I think that, that pushed him down in the draft. And so far he's shown really good ball security. Five fumbles just last year for McBride. The Vikings 20% on third down. That their receiver is going to be, and then one of our guys just kind of closes it off, and hopefully Harrison can be that guy. But look, I, I think that uh, he also said that there's a Flores will have this ability with his players to just open up some dialogue. 10 9, Tennessee leads, second and 10 from the Vikings 17. Chestnut back in the game, runs through a missed Troy Reader tackle, then basically drags the entire defense inside the five. It'll get down to the five yard line. First and goal for these Tennessee Titans. He. You have to respect him as an offense because he's such a good blitzer. But he's also a very, very good cover guy. He's very smart. So he has all the tools of a safety that you want and need and be able to use in a system like that. To Touchdown. Julius ran right up the middle. 16 9 Tennessee. And Julius Chestnut has amassed 91 yards and a TD. You talk about strong hands. They use that phrase to describe offensive linemen. If he gets his hands on you and you're a linebacker, I've seen him upset the apple cart many times last year. And when that young man plays angry, Paul, he's unstoppable. You know, you mentioned Brian O'Neill, and Brian O'Neill tore his Achilles and, you know, injured his Achilles on an interception, yeah. covering an interception. So in these control practices, situations like that aren't going to happen. Now, that's a one in a million thing. But still, in this day and age of the NFL. We lost the challenge, so it's first and goal for Tennessee. Willis stands tall in the pocket, short drop, fires left, and it is caught for a Tennessee Titans touchdown. Nice leaping play there by Troy Reader. That's a receiving touchdown for Chestnut, second year from Sacred Heart. Yeah, it'd be hard for Reader to play that really any better as he's getting picked by the route, the vertical route, trying to work over the top of that and still get out to the flat. I mean, if I'm Dwayne McBride, I'm just trying to figure out what's happening here, you know? Yep. Play action, Hall floats left, pass, caught, Thompson on the run, far side, 40, 35, 30, thrust out of bounds. Well, I, whether or not you can read that much into it, you know, when you're on the sideline during the game, but for, for, 
who we release and who we keep because Ben Sims would be one of those prospects. First and goal, Hall, McBride, left side, lower body power, touchdown, Dwayne McBride. Congratulating his teammates, and this mm -hmm. is what you want to see your offense do. Nice cut, double team at the point, really wasn't going anywhere, was able to just get outside and get on the edge. Great blocking up front. Again, you see in Ben Sims. A lot of experts said it into the 2020. We've now seen Jefferson and Higgins and Darnell Mooney and, and to Jerry Judy to a certain extent. Ooh, Malik, tear it up, 40, 35, 30. And on behalf of Ben Lieber and Pete Versich, along with our statistician, David Koob, the 17-year statistician for the Minnesota Vikings Radio Network, I'm Paul Allen. Next Sunday, make that next Saturday, a week from today at noon, final preseason game, the Arizona Cardinals are in town.